Hello, my name is Kay Aubrey Shemaine, and I'm the director of Photonic Therapy Institute, your host for this Independence from Pain Summit. My guest for this session is Lisa Chadzi of Light Matters Therapy in Loveland, Colorado, and her son, Rocky. Lisa is passionate about sharing the benefits of light therapy after struggling with her own health issues. After a 30 year career as a certified personal trainer, she experienced a really bad fall that resulted in a severely sprained ankle. It was after that injury that Lisa was introduced to light therapy as a healing tool to overcome those injuries, but it also helped her to overcome the aches and pains as well as anxiety and depression that she had experienced for most of her life. Before trying the light, Lisa was stuck in feelings of hopelessness, anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, and intestinal hell. She was taking 27 pills a day and was still sick. But soon her health issues were in the past. After a single light therapy session, the pain and swelling in her ankle were gone and she felt the depression had lifted. After using lights for eight months, Lisa was able to completely discontinue all of her medications. She immediately wanted to learn how, what, and why this light therapy worked, and now she wants to share light therapy with everyone. Lisa's experiences flowed into her home life and caring for her active and accident-prone eight-year-old son, Rocky. His bumps and bruises not only disappeared, but his emotional and comprehensive skills improved as well. Her light therapy practice soon focused on helping children as well as adults. Lisa's young patients have seen benefits with jaundice, sleep disorders, digestive health, as well as emotional balance. Today, Lisa is passionate about educating people on how to take control of their health by using natural modalities, especially light therapy. That helps them to live a pain-free life. Welcome, Lisa and Rocky. Thank you. Thank you. So Lisa, why don't you uh, take us on a journey here with what's going on with you and Rocky? So I um, had just experienced my first light session and was shocked of the results that I received with just one session. Um, two days after my first session, my son was bullied at school and um, he was in a ton of pain. They twisted his arm. He heard it crack six times. I gave him the, the, the remedies, natural remedies that I knew of, which was Motrin. And uh, the pain still wouldn't go away. It, he couldn't even hold a pencil. And so I called up my, um, the, she's a biofeedback naturopath. I called her and I said, hey, can I put those lights on kids? This is what happened with Rocky. And she said, absolutely, Here, this is what you do. So I went to her house and she told me where to place the pads and what frequency and uh, do one minute per age of child. So at the time he was eight. So after two minutes, the pain was 50% gone of me applying the lights. And after the full eight minutes, he was completely pain-free. He hadn't cried for that eight minutes. And he was able to go to wrestling for two and a half hours that night. And oh, my word. Never complained again of the pain. Are there pictures of this? Um, I, yes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> right here is his very first light session after being bullied and you can see right on his yep. right arm, I put it on his tummy and his back and his right arm and he, he loved the session. Completely calm, no anxiety, wasn't freaking out. It, it was, I was like, what are these lights? I have to, I have to learn more. So from there, um, his next accident, he was at a trampoline park and do you want to share this story? So I was at a trampoline park for my one of my best friends um, birthday party and we were um, jumping off these like maybe three and a half feet um, tall platforms and there was this older guy and he was 
like 15 or something, and he was throwing us kids off it. And when I stepped up to get thrown off, another 16, 15 year old guy pushed him and it affected his throw. And I braced myself and the trampoline came up and dislocated my arm. And yeah. Oh, that looks painful. It was, it was one of the worst dislocations the emergency room doctor had seen. So um, as you can see here on the right, he was knocked out after, for a while in order for them. They were afraid they were going to have to do surgery, but luckily they didn't. But um, again, I put the lights on him and he recovered very, very quickly. Now this was what kind of pads, what kind of lights were you using? Um, the, yeah, I, are you talking color? Yeah, color. I mean, so I, we're talking to people this weekend about pads and, and panels and torches and you know, lamps. So we just wanted to make sure of what we were using here. Okay. Yeah, definitely used in a pad system and it had red, blue, and infrared in it. And, and um, and I don't just place one pad. On, on people, um, what I wanted, what I did with the upper body, I'd like to cover the back of the neck. That's your circuit breaker, so to speak, that opens the line of communication to the rest of the body, good blood flow. Um, it helps with inflammation and pain and the nerves, speaking to the nerves to help calm them down. Nice. So I wrap the elbow, I did the tummy because inflammation likes to hang out and have a party in the tummy and I put a pad on the um, on his neck and again I would only do one minute per his age and he um, it, he never needed to after that you know after the initial hospital visit uh, never put him on pain meds when wow. it starts hurting or if the swelling started coming up I put the lights on and it was just a simple re remedy on that um, this next slide is talking about he suffered from anxiety and uh, he just walks, he walked up to me and said, mom, can I get on the lights? So this is a picture of him in his swim trunks <laughs> and uh, covered his head, his tummy, his neck, his whole spine to get him. Uh, and within two, it, the, the magic number must be two minutes for children because after two minutes he was asleep. What was that like for you, Rocky? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> but you felt better afterwards. You didn't have the anxiety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what's the beauty of it is, you know, at this age, of course, he just walked up to me and asked, can I do the lights? And yeah, tell me what's going on. Because I didn't know if he hurt himself or, or what, but it, I could clearly tell that anxiety really had got to him. Nice. So this is our anxiety be gone modality. So this was uh, his very first broken bone. He was running down the stairs, shocking, in a big hurry, broke his ankle. And you can see the pad system that I put on there behind his, his you know, I just don't wrap the ankle. I wrap the whole bone that was affected in joints. So, and you can see, he kind of has a smile on his face, but you can tell that smile is kind of like, this This kind of stinks, but <laughs> he likes doing it because it takes the pain away. Did you go right back to school, even with the broken ankle? Um, I took, like, maybe a day or two off. But That's not bad. Yep. And he was able to sleep. That's the thing about pain, as we all know, you can't sleep. And uh, he's been able to sleep with, with this modality. We just um, go after the pain, calm down the nervous system, get rid of, um, help, help to get rid of the inflammation, and you sleep. And was that once a day or twice a day? How often were you doing that? Um, at first it was twice a day. It was like whenever he started to feel the pain so right. I've taught him, you know, when he starts to feel that, get my attention and let's get on top of it. 
And I always made sure he's hydrated. That's really, really important here is make sure I made sure he drank four ounces of water before and lots of water afterwards throughout the day. It, it, hydration is critical as Good well. Good advice, yeah. So, um, but yeah, the, the doctors that dealt with the, the broken bone, they were just shocked. They thought he was gonna be in that cast a lot longer than he was. Like, what are you doing? Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Good job. Uh, um, he was supposed to be in the cast for, it was a walking cast, so it was a kind that you can remove. He was supposed to be in that for six weeks. He was out of it at three. Wow. And we continued with the light therapy to continue the healing of the bone, keeping the inflammation at bay. Um, it just building, building those tendons back up again and the ligaments that were injured as well. So soon after that was um, taken care of, he sprained his left ankle. <laughs> ah. Wanting for punishment, Rocky. <laughs> I said, people are gonna start calling uh, children social services on us because, uh, anyway, um, I don't even remember what happened, how you sprained your ankle. So I was playing outside, I was playing basketball and we were about to go eat. And I told my parents, just one more shot. And there was a sprinkler head right next to me. Oh, and, wow. I, and I shot the jump shot and I went off to the left a little bit and I landed on the sprinkler and I twisted it. Wow. Lots of crying on that one too. Well, sprained or broken anything and you, you cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sprain is actually more painful, I've been told. It is. I've yeah. never broken a bone, knock on wood, but I am a, I'm very skilled at spraining my ankles. And it is so painful. So I have nothing to compare it to. You've had a broken ankle and a sprained ankle. Which one hurt worse? Um, I think... Were they the same? I think the sprained ankle hurt worse. It takes longer to heal from. Ankle. For me, it was broken. I had I had broken feet as a kid all the time. Ugh. Always the horses stepping on them, putting them under a motorcycle. Never, you know. <laughs> Jeez. Well, um, this happened immediately. I put the lights on him immediately, so you can kind of see the expression on his face. You could tell he doesn't. He's not happy, but he's not in an excruciating. Right. Thing. So, yeah. So here is our rollover car accident that happened March of 2019. We uh, hydroplaned, we were going 80 miles an hour on I-70, didn't see the water, we were following a storm, so it was clear where we were. And uh, we hydroplaned, going over 80, and rolled into the median three times and both my sons were ejected out of the sunroof. We found out the fatality rate of that is 93% and both my sons lived. So this is the car after it was put on the tow truck. Um, we landed on the driver's side and the next picture is the sunroof here where they were both ejected out of. Oh my. So I, I just can't believe we didn't roll over them or if we did, they they survived it somehow. Me and my husband were seat belted, so we didn't, but my boys weren't seat belted. <laughs> uh, now we know the benefits of a seat belt, yes. Yeah, yeah, they seat belt with no questions or not even a second guess now. That's so amazing. what happened, um, he dislocated his clavicle. Couldn't believe it wasn't broke. And what they had to do, there was a pretty serious surgery that they had to go in. They thought the surgery that, you know, might have a little bit of a, a scar ended up being this long. Mm. It was a lot more severe of an injury than they had anticipated. And they put it, um, his collarbone back together with a fiber wire, they call it, which is cord. fiber cord should have a Rocky tell the story <laughs> and which is stronger than steel. So, um, but it affected his chest, 
you know, his breathing, his walking, all that stuff. And here's a picture of my husband. You can see the scar on his head because he hit his head during the rollover and um, they're practicing breathing exercises here. And then the next picture we have is his surgery scar. And it, it's not a very detailed picture, but that's from a severe dislocation. As you can tell, you, he's making noises. It's just bringing back memories. I'll bet. I'll bet. So he was in the hospital for four days. And um, he, they, he also crushed his, um, he smushed is the, the, the technical term, I guess. He smushed his growth plate in his right foot. You want to explain why? that was so, so critical. critical yeah so the growth plate helps your leg grow and there's one on like both of your feet and if it if um i didn't have the lights there was probably a chance that i would have like an 11 or 10 year old leg and an adult leg by the time i'm like 25 or something Oh, because it would stop growing because you damaged the growth plate. Sure. Mm -hmm. So that didn't happen. Nope. Wow. No, we were very diligent with light therapy, and even though his uh, leg was casted, I still put the lights above the cast and um, and behind his spine, um, low back area, his stomach, on his collarbone, his neck. And he also had a concussion from the car wreck. And um, the lights were just um, very important to the regimen. I put lights on everybody. I'll bet. The car wreck. And the doctors, again, were shocked at his recovery. Go ahead. So Rocky has a love of basketball. And here he has a good friend you can see handing him the basketball so he could shoot <laughs> from his wheelchair. It. I'm still looking at the color, but there we go. Yeah. How long did you have to use the, the wheelchair? Um, like a month. A month. Yeah. I was supposed to stay in it for like three months or something, but I was just in there for a month. I got my workout getting him in and out of that chair. <laughs> um, here you can see where his cast is. So I would just put lights above his knee. And here's the collarbone surgery that he had to keep his arm up. Like his little setup on how we fed him. He had to do everything left handed. And then this is another time that brought joy when we went to go watch somebody play soccer and this little puppy came up and gave Rocky all kinds of love. Yeah. That's too sweet. And here's another time, you know, just seeing the smile come back to his face again. You know, he was pretty depressed being as active as he is, being able, he had to rely on us for everything to take him to the restroom for bed, for changing his clothes, giving him a shower. It was a very trying time, but now it just seemed like that didn't happen for very long. But at the time we thought we were gonna be here for a while. Yeah. That's amazing, I'm really impressed. Yeah. And then this is Rocky um, <laughs> demonstrating the lights and he just, he loves them. Now he knows what to do. All he asks, at, now he knows where to place the pads for whatever he has going on. So he just asked me, what frequency, mom? And he takes care of himself. So he, he's now up to doing 20 to 30 minutes of light therapy on himself. And just go get them anytime you need them. Yeah. He's had the stomach flu, you know, all kinds of the bugs that go around. And, um, you know, it, he wakes us up at, you know, it always happens at one or two in the morning. And I just put the lights on him and he doesn't 
throw up anymore. He doesn't have the stomach flu. Um, he's raring to go to school that, that same day because it just, the recovery is amazing. And you and, told me uh, you also use this with other kid, kids in your practice. Absolutely. So with Rocky, you know, being the age that he's at, he just talks to, he's not a shy kid. He talks to other, <laughs> other parents and saying, hey, you should go see my mom. She, she'll make she'll make Dylan feel better. Hey, you should see my mom. She'll she'll take your headache away. You know, he's my biggest marketing tool right now. Of and uh, so I have a mother of uh, three, and each one of them have a disability. Oh man! And she brings all three to me to the point where that she finally just purchased the system because it was cheaper for her to do that than to come keep seeing me and pay him for three sessions. And um, it, and then, you know, just word of mouth have gotten around of how I help the children and they're getting test scored, their comprehension, um, their stomach issues. It's, it's amazing. I'm not surprised though, because of what we, what kids snack on these days and, you know, the, the new, Nutrition is not there like it used to be when we were younger. And just the stress, the school stress now, with the, yeah. the testing and the, the worry, you know, just the worries that our kids are under. Right. I know I, my great grandnephew was here this weekend. He's nine and he's got a lot of home stress. There's so my niece, his grandmother brought him by and he's had a lot of attention issues, stress issues, focus issues, not to the point that he has been diagnosed with ADD, nothing like that, but it, it was affecting his school, his schooling, his, his education. And so he now, it, he's, he now has been using light to help calm himself down, help with focus. And he's like a different kid just over the last 90 days. So. Yeah. so I have a story, if I have time Please. to share. Please. I went to the um, counselors at Rocky School to show them about this light modality. And uh, the lady that I talked to, the counselor that I talked to, she has an attention span of a gnat. <laughs> and so trying to catch her attention. But what I did is I set the pads up and I turned them on without putting them on anybody. I just laid them on the table and the light shone up from the table. And um, this kid is screaming at the top of his lungs in the hallway. And there's a teacher behind him and they come into this room where I'm at. And um, he, he runs to the lights and he's like, oh, pretty. And he's touching them and he's putting them up to his eyes. And, and he's just feeling after about I don't know, 10 seconds, he completely calmed down, went and sat behind me on the ground and started playing with blocks by himself. And I had the lights on this whole time. And the two counselors are looking at each other like, uh, we've never seen him calm down this fast. So he played by himself in total silence on his own for 10 minutes. And he goes, I'm ready to go back now. I feel better. And I didn't even place the pads on him. It was just the power of the light in the room. And just staring at those lights, it only takes five to 10 seconds to trigger the, the brain when the light goes through the optic nerve. So that's that phenomenal. He knew exactly what he needed. Yeah. And then the, the counselor that I was speaking with, who doesn't sit down to talk to you, she is painting the room, changing light bulbs. I mean, that's how high energy she was. She actually came over, sat at the table I was sitting at with the lights on and she did this. Wow. So tell me what it put. And she starts petting the lights like it's an animal and she was completely calm. I've never seen her like that. And I, I've known her for six years and that's she wonderful. loved it. But, um, I'm trying to get the lights into the schools, but that's um, a big mountain to climb. It is. So, it is. We've been trying to get them into fire departments. We've been trying to get them into any kind of uh, quasi-governmental aid, you know, help with stress levels, occupational stress injury, et cetera. 
and it is there's a lot to overcome it's coming we're probably five to ten years out of it being really accepted and recognized for its benefits right it's exploded so much over the last 25 years since i've been working with light yeah. back in those days it was just considered woo woo and we were all crazy and now it's it's re so researched and there's so many different universities around the world that understand that this is where we're headed now the gen right. this is one of the reasons for the summit this weekend let's get the word out to the general population that you don't yeah. have to reach for drugs every time i i've helped several of rocky's friends that have been hurt uh there was a kid one of his friends stepped on glass out here so his foot is bleeding to death mm. all over the place so i'm like carrying him in I put the lights on within two minutes, stopped bleeding. It never did get infected. So I, it's just that just word of mouth like that, um, just more and more children are coming in to see me. And sometimes it's just a 10 minute session. There's other times that it's, it's a good half hour, 45 minutes because I want the children to feel comfortable with me as well as to build the trust and sure. make, it, make it a game. I turn the lights on at first, and they, like you said, in that five to 10 seconds, they calm down and they're okay with you touching them. Sure. Um, but it, it is phenomenal on children and the parents just go on and on and on how they don't know what they would have done. They're, they're at their wits end by the time they find out about light therapy. So, so Rocky, what are your plans going forward? Would, you have plans that you want for after, when you're done with school? Um, go to college, play a sport, ah. and yeah, get a job. So you'll have to have your mom send your own light therapy equipment with you so that you can be a professional athlete. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he, um, he's playing baseball right now that his first loves basketball. So I have him in a basketball camp. I don't know if it'll be canceled or not, but he, he goes to the CSU here in Fort Collins basketball camp every summer. Nice. So. Well, there's another opportunity. You can tell your coach and everybody about the, about the light therapy. Uh, um, my coach is having back problems right now. Uh -huh. And he missed the last practice because of it. And the first practice that I saw him um struggling i told i went up to him at the end of practice and said hey my mom has this business and um she uses light and it'll really help with the problems that you have it helped me recover from my car accident and he was like all right i'll go do you does your mom have business cars and i'm like yeah i'll go see if she has some and then i went to the car and gave him a business card Excellent. Yeah, you'll let him know that there are many, many professional and semi-professional uh, sports teams all around the world now that all focus on using the light therapy. They have systems in their in their uh, sports lo uh, their locker rooms. So, well, this coach also coaches high school and mm -hmm. uh, beyond, and he he's already sent him his pictures and short stops to me, and. Um, so the word of mouth, he's just like, I can't believe how this worked so quickly. Excellent. And he said, I probably wouldn't have come to you, but I've tried everything to get out of pain. And he's just amazed. And so he's passing this on to the high schoolers and junior high and, and above about the psych oh, therapy. Yes. Well, Lisa, Rocky, thank you so much for sharing your, your story with us and how it's worked for you. Rocky, try not to get in any more accidents, okay? <laughs> All right. I think I have enough testimonials from him. I think we're done. We're done. We have enough pictures. Time to move on. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Great. guys. And we really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Thank you.